long time no see we're back in new york as you can tell and i'm also back in our office our studio slash guest bedroom if you've seen any of my recent videos about the apartment you know that we have a two bedroom here in new york city and we used this room before as an art studio for me and my husband ben he paints and i currently it's on pause but i used to do these floral epoxy objects and i made the headboard for a bedroom but lately we've been transforming this into wait i think i lost my train of thought here but basically yeah we had this art studio in our apartment but there might be some guests coming to stay with us for a while in the future. I don't know yet, let's keep our fingers crossed here. I'll keep you posted if that happens. But in preparation for that, we've been changing, switching things up in this room. And in the past videos, we've built this bed and we also added the shelf and got our first ever TV for the guests. And recently we've been traveling a lot, we went to Maine, we went to Italy, you can see those videos on the channel as well outside of these New York vlogs, but now we're back in the city, it's September, the summer is over, and yeah, I am trying to figure out what to do to finish this room up, so first of all, I, yeah, I really hope that this room works for people staying with us and that you know they enjoy their time here and overall it's a very as you can see sunny and light room there are lots of windows here but also in new york city it might mean a lot of noise so i'm trying to think what to do to like soundproof this room a little better we also well right now my husband uses this as an office but we might move this desk and the screen to our bedroom to free up some space in this corner so that might happen as well i'm also shopping for a duvet cover for this bed i'm trying to figure out what color maybe something green or mint or blue i don't know what would feel relaxing and you know less stressful in new york city something like that and maybe velvet because i like velvet but i'm still looking for something here and otherwise yeah i'm trying to understand what else i can do here to make this room more comfortable and better for people staying here uh obviously i can't uh there's this little desk well let me show you so what we have right now yeah we have this new bed here then we have some art supplies stored like paint and epoxy and things like that inside this cabinet um, there are some other things stored here. Yeah, there are some more of my epoxy objects here and There's this desk pretty nice area here overall and then TV Some more plants. I actually might I Need to I'll try to paint over this pot because it chipped and I don't like how it looks We'll see maybe I'll use some of Ben's paints for that and then yeah here we have <laughs> some leftovers from the art studio ben is still using this area here to paint and then this is more storage for other things that we haven't put into the cabinet yet um more paint cameras some cords and so on and there are some more paintings here i think somebody in the comments mentioned that we should put more art on these walls and originally i just didn't <coughs> Originally, I just didn't want it to... <clears throat> Sorry, I haven't talked in a while, so suddenly... It's like you can tell that I haven't recorded any talking videos um, in a few weeks. But originally, I thought that I didn't want to overwhelm people here by putting a lot of stuff. You see, there's already stuff on the shelves and so on, so I didn't want to put more stuff on the walls. I wanted to keep it light and airy. But I think your comment is legit. Maybe it does need a little something on the walls to decorated maybe specifically here and we do have a lot of art from Ben we have so many paintings around the house just stored and we have a few frames so maybe today we're gonna look at some and figure out if anything can go up on the walls and look good here and I probably should ask Ben to review these with me I was showing you the paintings that we have here in the corner and then 
I realized it's easier to place my camera instead of holding it. So let's do that. Let's see. So. Yeah, these we have framed because we used to have them on the walls in the previous apartment, but haven't had them here. But this is really old portrait of our bunny that we used to have. I still, still love it. And this is another portrait of our bunny. Um, yeah, look how cute. I miss her. Yeah, this is from the same series as we have hanging in our living room and kitchen right now um but also yeah see greens and blues so if i get a green or blue duvet cover i think this would work in this room this one unfortunately we do need a new um, glass for this frame because when we were moving it got cracked in the move um but this used to also hang in our previous bedroom i love it it's like filled with flowers oh yeah i love this one also we've had this one for many many years this is two owls um and this is ben and i i think he painted it for me it must be almost 10 years ago these are not framed and ben will hate me for this one he doesn't like it but i love it it's um it's like a meadow with flowers and there is an alpaca that I have on the chair that we have and this is our I think it's an avocado tree that we have here but again this is very old this is from back in our Harlem days oh it's another bunny one yeah he used to paint our pet bunny a lot so I also love this one this is our bunny and this is different fruit and flowers isn't it cool I love discovering all the art that we have here. <laughs> Forgot what it is. This one needs to be reframed. It fell down, but actually, also maybe a good one for this room. Oh, this used to hang in our also Harlem. These are mostly from Harlem days, um, but this is like a breakfast scene at our Harlem apartment. Those were the. Ah, the windows that are all placed. Oh yeah, and see this is Sonia's. Uh, this is the bunny portrait that I just showed you. It used to be on the wall. And we had this lemon tablecloth that my mom got actually when she visited. And this was us having coffee with the French press back at our old place. I invited Ben and as you can see, he disapproved of all the paintings we've seen so far. And he's digging into the archives to show me better paintings <laughs> that I should choose. But here's some, like this one, those little seagulls. This was, Are uh, they all the same size as the frame books here? Well, that's what I thought. Maybe these ones are the same size. I'm not sure. Oh, here's me. Very good. Hey, here's I one. think yeah, it'd be one funny of to dress up the guest bedroom with just portions of you. Yeah, this was me uh, eating chips during the pandemic. I had a beard at the time. There's the breakfast. Oh, oh yeah, this one actually. Oh, I love that one. Yeah. This was our room during the pandemic. There's another one of Kate. This is at the river. This is uh, the turtle with a plant on it. The turtle is up there actually. Ooh. What? This is you. Oh, sensory. I don't even remember doing this. This is us apparently. There's me, shirtless with a beard. <laughs> oh yeah, this one actually we should look too. This is another like still life of our little apartment. There's another portrait of Kate. This one's a little bit intense. This is baby lions on the field. And then one of the trees. I don't like any of these. Another portrait of you in the bed sleeping. Mm -hmm. Christmas. That was Christmas. Yeah. It's like plant and seashells. And that's the mirror. Yeah, yeah. it's the mirror, yeah. That, that fits, but it's another plant. It kind of fits because it's the same of a kind yeah, of tree. Yeah, it's the same that's... tree, yeah. So. Oh, I like this one, though, of you. This is one of in the other room. 
It's the room from the old apartment, the green chair. Basically the idea is that it's pretty noisy and busy outside and it's kind of busy here because of all our storage stuff. So I want to put make something up and make sure it feels cool and relaxing. Like, but what is this ghost? <laughs> Indoor duck. This one has that mirror in it also. Mm -hmm. This is one of... Oh, oh, this is so good. Look, it's you. It's Korshik. Oh. I love this one. What a puffer fish. Yeah. You didn't? Yeah. The, ben used to paint our bunny a lot, as you could see earlier, but he doesn't paint Korshik too much. This is maybe we should paint maybe the only again. one. Yeah, maybe we should. I love this one. That one's green too. Oh, yeah. Also, so that everyone knows who's the actual. Yeah. Um, the owner of yeah, this room, right? Yeah, that's a candidate, I guess. Yeah. Those two didn't look good. Oysters? But yeah, there's you in the oyster plate. Yeah. This is sort of a surreal one of pig and oysters. I think some of these could be good now. First of all, because we haven't seen them in a while. They're pretty old. I love this. And secondly, you guys not in the frame if you're trying to be in it. And secondly, because we have more stored out there, his paws are so cute. Um, they're more recent, but it's kind of a pain to take them out of storage now, considering they've already found some good ones. And then it could be fun to change them with seasons. We can actually, once we put them up, it's not that hard to swap them out. So we yeah. can do another review later. Let me know if you want to see more paintings. Of Ben's, and we can every now and then change them up, and he can tell you more about the ones that he doesn't like. <laughs> <laughs> I don't really feel comfortable putting, especially glass frames, <laughs> above people's heads, um, but I think we're gonna put one over there, one over here, and maybe one over here, so there are still plenty around the room, but none of them are hanging over it the bed. What do you think? Yep. Okay, here are the choices for today. Looks really good. And then when we get the bigger frame next week, we can frame this. Yeah, maybe. Mm -hmm. This could be a little calmer in this corner. Right there, right? Yeah. Supervision by Kojic. What do you think? attach hardware to the back of this one to hang it and Korjik is helpfully hanging out right around my feet just in case there's an opportunity for him to eat screws. Okay, that's good. I wonder where Korjik is too, he's right outside. I'm still trying to figure out what kind of bed spread to get for this because they're all ugly. They're all, you know, just kilted or have this old flat pattern. Um, or velvet. Like, I don't, I want velvet, but I don't trust it not to be weirdly shiny. Yeah. And I'm not sure if too much green here would be too weird. Like, if anything, keeping it light matches the rest of the room so it looks bigger.
Wow, welcome to today's cooking show. Just kidding. But <laughs> we went to the farmer's market and it's still tomato season, so we got this really nice tomatoes. And we've been having a lot of caprese salad since going to Italy and just can't stop eating it. It's perfect that it's also tomato season now, so I got some fresh burrata and basil and just gonna make some salad for lunch. I'm also having San Pellegrino, so super on brand today. Let's pick some tomatoes. I like the really dark ones, the purple, and Ben likes this yellow ones. So at the market, I just get a mix of everything. This is it, we're done. Burrata today is not as maybe young and fresh, like it doesn't spill out everywhere. It's a little more like mozzarella, but I'm sure it's still very tasty. But yeah, the last few days we've been having the same salad and burrata was usually very, very fresh and liquid. But you know, that's fine. I'm gonna take this today. Still looks pretty good. Let's dive in. Right. Good morning, it's the next day and I'm back here because I wanted to first of all show you how the paintings look today in different light and also look at them um, you know, as the time went by and to confirm that everything works well here. We spent a lot of time yesterday trying to find more things for this bedroom. I was looking for some kind of bed cover, bed spread, throw blanket, something to tie everything together, maybe something green or blue. Nothing was really looking that great and then I found a white one that I think I'll show you later I ordered it when it comes I will show you what that looks like and then we found a very interesting blanket Well, okay, first of all why were we even looking for this? First of all, I was looking for something also to hang over the bed I don't want to hang any of the paintings with glass. I don't feel comfortable uh, putting you know, glass frames over people's heads so then I was like, I can do another mural or wallpaper, but that's also a big investment and I don't want a, a time investment, an effort investment, we would have to pull everything apart again and it's really hard. As you remember, I was doing that in the living room, it takes a lot of time to like, properly measure and align wallpapers and murals and I don't want to make this room dark. I feel like if I add something really dark to the wall, the room will look smaller. So. That aside, we were looking maybe for a tapestry similar to the one we have in the hallway with mythical creatures, but um, and it wasn't too successful, nothing super. Uh, there were a lot of dark colored ones again, and I don't want more dark colors here. The TV is dark, that's enough. I want something bright and light here and calming. Um, so yeah, we couldn't find anything like that, and then eventually we found a few really nice blankets, tapestries but they're vertical, they were not horizontal. So I gave up on that idea for now. We ordered a very interesting blanket, I'll show you later. And I'm thinking of using it on the bed as a throw blanket, just to add again, color and interest to this room. I will show you that as soon as it comes. I hope it comes soon. Um, so yeah, the updates are, I got a different bedspread. I got a very interesting blanket. Then what else I ordered for this room? Yeah, and I ordered a bigger frame so we can put this picture of Korzyk. <laughs> so we'll be framing this uh, picture of Korzyk and it will go up on that wall. When the frame comes, I will update you. I will hopefully update you in the next video when it arrives. 
so i think that's it for the apartment updates today we have my friends coming we're doing a picnic in the park and then i don't know it depends on the weather if it gets too hot we might come back here and do brunch at the house they haven't been here so i'll give them a tour as well and then i want to walk around the city and maybe go get some oysters later with Ben. I haven't had oysters in a while and typically you don't want to have them in the summer when it's too hot. Now that it's September, it's time to restart the tradition of uh, having oysters on weekends. So we're going to do that and then, I don't know, we'll see how it goes. Oh, oh, one more thing. I was actually thinking now that we've started talking about Ben's paintings in this room, I don't think I ever showed you exactly what we put on a gallery wall in the kitchen and dining area and i think i might just ask ben to talk about some of those pieces a little bit okay i cornered ben here and he's gonna tell us about the paintings we have on this gallery wall which one should i start with i don't know that's that's what we got here so just talk about that and yeah, you can see. hold it because the sound will be better oh, okay you're also showing. yeah let's see i'll start with this one because i think this one kind of started the whole series I'm doing. Now, I, it's a car in a thunderstorm, and it was sort of inspired by a trip we took where we were driving in the rain and it was thundering. But yeah, this started, I think this was the first one I did in the current trend of me doing cars in most pictures. And I especially like the road here. Um, let's see what else. This one is a view from our apartment, our old apartment, just the city from above. This one is a tree. I like doing trees. I want to do more like this. Like this one is also pretty much like that, a tree trunk. So I might do more of those, maybe big. This one is like an hourglass and it's kind of like the earth and the sky. But it's also abstract, it's kind of um, open to interpretation. This one is like prehistoric uh, territory, kind of, but just like nature. And I wanted to do, again, from above, I always do everything from above. Just a landscape with uh, things happening and it's very kind of everything's growing in different directions that's pretty much what I always do and then this one is again it has a car because now I do cars and then it has all of these mythical creatures in it but it's kinda like you're just driving by you know in your car and it's all nice in the car just uh, the AC is going and everything you can just bypass all of this and then this is a like a scene kind of from my childhood in a way, also from above, but it's like a small town at uh, twilight. And there's some street lamps. I like doing that now too. And it's of course got cars and everything. And then this one is like angels and eyes. And I did three paintings like this kind of on the same day, um, so that's it was just, uh, I was sort of experimenting with a limited palette and and then, yeah, like I did three paintings that were kind of similar palette. Yeah, the other one is back there, right? Yeah, I can show that one in a minute. And then here's another car driving into a forest. Yeah, this is my biggest painting that I've ever done and I hope <laughs> I can do more like this because now I have an extra frame that just came, so it's like a gift, you know? That uh-oh, I guess I'll have to do another big painting, unfortunately. Uh-oh, I guess we need a bigger house yeah. to house all the big paintings. But this one is like, I think, culmination of that series, although I'm not going to stop. I'll keep doing ones with cars, but yeah, this one is like, you got the highway and a gas station, and then over here there's like mythical creatures and flames and lightning storm. Uh, and then there's these arches that are arranged around the canvas. It's kind of hard to see them actually, unless you're at the right angle, but they're, they're made with gold leaves, so they're shiny. And this is sort of, um, yeah, also like, uh, 
yeah, just basically yeah. cars and nature. It's like people and interaction with nature. Things like that. I can show these ones too. This one is done on the same day as that Angels and Eyes one. And it's three rocks kind of halfway in the sun. And then this one is a portrait of Kate that I did on request. That's one of my first like completely oil paintings. Most are either uh, acrylic or a combination of oil and acrylic. Like the big one is a combination of oil and acrylic. But this one's totally oil. And it's varnished and everything so it's shiny. And then that one is also done on the same day and it's hands again with the limited palette and I just sort of painted whatever I felt like painting on the day. Okay, thank you so much for the tour. I just really wanted you to talk about that. No, wait. <laughs> All right, now let's go outside. This is when you just <laughs> take the picture. <laughs> Yeah, that was just like the, the oh, way we flew. Sorry. Like um, we had a layover in Paris, so okay. we didn't really hang out. The Reiki now. No. <laughs> All right, we'll go back to the Reiki <laughs> massage. <laughs> yeah, exactly. But the video he showed us was a half hour long. I feel like they're doing that thing that you do with more suggestible people. It's kind of working too. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, no, actually, yes, it was. <laughs> it was. So I'm not going to do that. Oh, yeah, it was, like, it was so good. good. It was like, oh my like, god. So. Particularly great and wasn't particularly bad. Oh, we thought it was poor. Yeah, we think it's poor. <laughs> We're doing this new thing where we are <laughs> rating things and writing down notes or tasting notes and oysters, cheese, and wine to figure out what we like and also remember the ones that we did like and which ones we didn't like. Yep. We're back home. Oysters were really great, but it's also really hot this weekend and I feel like we've already walked a lot yesterday and today and I will spend the rest of the weekend at home just preparing for the week. It's... <laughs> I feel like a lot has been happening. Actually, yeah, let me just put this down. Zach is gonna join us as well. He just had some ice cream too, as witnessed by this wet hair. But like I said, it's very hot, so we're all doing everything we can to cool down so yeah a few things uh i guess we haven't had a chance to like sit down like this and catch up since all the travels i'm not sure if you've seen my vlog from italy i posted part one i still need to edit part two which uh, part one was very very interesting and there was a lot to like a lot happened that i haven't fully processed yet Oh, at least like at the time when I was filming, I couldn't even talk about it. And now that it's been a few weeks, I feel like it's kind of the more distance that there is between me and the events, the more it kind of fades into the fog, memory becomes really foggy. And also it takes a lot from me to think about it and bring it up. And I've told a few friends about it already. It's taken hours. I'm serious it's taken us hours just to recite everything that happened and I also feel really stressed and exhausted every time after I after I go through all the events so long story short I 
wanted to try going to a wellness retreat, which uh, we did. So I found one in Italy because we wanted to go to Italy for all the other reasons. So I've, <laughs> I've gone to my first ever wellness retreat, but uh, unfortunately, instead of, you know, getting <laughs> what I thought I was going for was to uh, relax, you know, relax and um, recover basically from the past few really difficult years and come out of it stronger, happier and more focused and purposeful about the things that I want to do in life and you know get more energy and understanding of what I want to achieve and how to get there. That was my idea of <laughs> why I wanted to go to try doing a wellness retreat but what it turned out to be over the course of four days it very quickly escalated into a doomsday cult um, at least what it felt like it was but yeah we were lectured about um, the end of the world and all kinds of conspiracies that you can find online if you're looking or like if you're not looking anything you've ever heard of um, so it was very stressful and at some point it even felt a little unsafe being there. We didn't finish it, we ran away from the last day. Alright, the battery died probably because it's too hot and probably because I don't know how to talk about this just yet. So I am not sure yet where exactly the previous video broke. Uh, when I edit it I will see. But I guess what I was saying was that I have um, a lot to say but also I'm not sure how to talk about it and I'm still processing and also while I think our trip to Italy was fantastic I really loved the scenery and all the museums and nature, Tarkovsky, all of that stuff was so special and food it was amazing but <laughs> also we had not sure what it was but yeah the wellness retreat instead of um, making me oh, okay I keep trying to record this video and the battery keeps dying I think it's just too hot here I am also dying right now and which I also gave up on trying to move around I think we're gonna spend the rest of the evening here on the couch I will meditate and maybe journal maybe I should take a bath but I am so glad that summer is over because there is always a lot of pressure to I don't know if you feel the same way but I always feel like especially now that I'm an adult and there's a lot going on and in the summer you always feel like it's so short and it's ending soon and I have to do all these things that I pressure myself to do or I feel like other people are doing and I don't want to miss out and I want to also you know do the summary things and travel and you know relax and go to the nature and so on and so on see people but then it's just so busy it's so crowded it's so hot and you just I never feel like I do enough or I do all the things that I want to do and then fall comes and it's just <sighs> You know you can exhale and breathe out so just in case the previous video cut out before I finished my thought I was saying and maybe that's why it cut out I was saying that Italy was fantastic but then yeah we had this really strange experience that was so it was just so bizarre but also in the moment it felt unsafe that and then yeah, just summer being busy in the past few years have been so busy and I have a lot of really important deadlines coming up. Uh, some big projects and life projects that I've been working on are coming to some sort of potentially resolution maybe soon, one way or another. So I'm really stressed about that and there's a lot of anxiety. I'm not sleeping too well because I'm anticipating those things and a lot of them are out of my hands at this point so I'm trying not to think about the bad outcomes and just focus on the good but that's why I will hopefully talk about some of them here later if everything goes well so wish me luck and I will also 
take the rest of the day to myself. I will meditate and try to stay in the right you know, state of mind and not allow other people's agendas and other people's energies to shift me to where I don't need to go. And that's why I need to take this time to myself. That was a very, very long intro, outro, and discussion. So if you're still here, thank you for spending this weekend with me and with us. I hope that you will stick around and subscribe if you want to see more of us and our crazy adventures, our apartment, and things we will do in New York this fall. I'm very excited for fall in New York. That's my favorite season in New York. Um, so yeah, thank you for watching and I will see you next time. This time is for you. It's okay to just be here. Now we'll take a few big and slow breaths together and when we exhale, we'll relax even deeper and feel any tensions and concerns you might have melting away.